Hi everyone, Ivan Desjardins with Remax. I'm here to give you the uh, monthly stats for the May 2018 uh, report. Uh, this video might be a tad little longer than the uh, usual one, but uh, stick with it. Uh, I've got some very, very interesting stats. Uh, first of all, let's start with the amount of homes that is listed in Halton Hills right now. Right now we have 193 homes uh, with an average asking price of a million fifty and they've been sitting on the market for 31 days so the average on the market right now is a tad longer than usual and sales in May 2018 we've had 79 homes which is quite substantially less than last year mind you May 2017 was a little bit of a, a banner year we had 121 homes that sold in only 12 days this year it's 23 days so double the amount of time to, to sell a home right now. Uh, interestingly is that last year the average sale price in uh, in Halton Hills it was 856 this year is 777 so in terms of average sale price it's 9% less but we also have 35% less volume. So now I know a lot of people a lot of you when I bring out those stats they said yes but Ivan in my previous video also some of the comments people have said well Ivan you've been comparing a, a banner year but if I take even 216 and 215 the average sale price uh, not the average sale price but the average number of sales for the month of May was 112 homes so compared to this year only 79 so we are down 35 percent even from those years uh, 15 and 16. Uh, in 2015 the average sale price was 586 so I'll come back to that in a minute I want to explain to you uh, but first I want to compare five months the first five months of the year and again if you were to take 15 16 17 and 18 we are down we are down 35 percent and even, even if I take um, the banner year 2017 we're still down in volume by 30 percent as you can see there's less volume less turnaround but let me get back to uh, what I just said about 2015 when the average sale price in Halton Hills was 586,000 and then you take the banner year 2017 only 24 months after we had seen an increase of two hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars to eight hundred and fifty six thousand average sale price in Halton Hills yes you heard this right so it's 45 percent up increase in just 24 months that's about the average sale price in Halton Hills went up by almost eleven thousand dollars a month for the for 24 months so uh, that's quite a bit so now we're surprised that we're getting 9% adjustment. Uh, you know, when we've seen a 45% increase, 9% is, is not all that much. So in conclusion with all of these stats is that I think we went up way too fast. Interest rates are creeping up and we're seeing less volume in sales. And in terms of people are a little bit tapped out in terms of debt in Canada. I think it's a, at about a dollar seventy-five or a dollar eighty for every dollar that we earn. So I don't know that we can take on more debt. So I don't see house prices going up in the near future. I mean, maybe on the long run, but in the near future, when I'm talking three, four, five years, I don't think prices will increase because I think it's too much. Um, salaries have been gone up. And uh, if you were to take this chart here too, that I've got right here, you, I showed you these, this chart here. It goes way back to 1953. And if you look, the market goes up, market readjusts. Market goes up, the market readjusts. Market goes up and readjusts. And every time, notice this here, that the, the uh, readjustment seems to be a little steeper. When you run up too fast, there seems to be an, an adjustment here and look at here in 1996 all the way up here to today and 2017 because I didn't take 
2018, where we're about right here. I found this article here on uh, when I Google this up. Um, how crazy are house prices in Toronto? Well, this run up that you see here from 1996 all the way up here to 17, we had seen an increase of 356%. Yes, you heard me right. 356% since 1996. For in about a 20 year period, talking about return on your investment, absolutely phenomenal. So, what's coming ahead in the, in the let's say the near future three four five years I don't see that we can push this you know further up especially when interest rates I think are, are on the rise and the fact that we've we've taken so much on plus salaries have been kept up so if I were to conclude this here I think in the next three to five years I think we got a pressure downwards not a pressure up, upwards so if you get anything out of this video, you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, uh, question about real estate, feel free to, to reply to this video or send me a private email. And remember, if you have any friends or family that's looking for uh, real estate advice or whatever, keep my name up there and I appreciate uh, when you pass my name along. Thank you. In the meantime, thank you very much and have a great day.